explorers, we travel the world to rediscover locations that have been abandoned and left to decay in time. Yo, this is it! Oh, We've created a personal bucket list of these forgotten destinations all over the planet. <laughs> Together with urban exploring friends, we'll track them down, capture the beauty of their ruin, and unearth the stories that people have left behind. This is sick. Oh, this is gonna be the coolest room here. At the end of our adventures, we'll rank each location based on its history, beauty, purity, and thrill. Which destination will be at the top of our bucket list in the end? Let's go. Epic exploring. All right, really quick. I know you're like, what is epic exploring? What is this? Uh, so five years ago, literally five years ago, it feels like only a year ago, I was able to do a TV show uh, based off of this entertainment platform called Insight.TV which is kind of similar to YouTube. It has a bunch of different documentaries, athletes, entertainment, and it's on this whole 4K Ultra HD uh, streaming service that you can kind of click and watch anything you want, which, you know, they took in this role. They, they loved what I did, and we created this TV show. Now, there's over like 10 episodes, and I was able to finally show you guys one episode, and I, was, I asked, I, I emailed them. I'm like, I really love this episode. Can I put this on my YouTube? I think a lot of people have not seen it, it would go back and forth. I will give you the guys the link in case people, my viewers, want to watch all the other episodes. It works back and forth for all of us. And they agreed, so I was able to get this episode on here. So check it out. Um, it's between me and my friend Cody, and we travel the world searching for abandoned places, and we rate them at the end of the video. Now, in this, what you're watching, it's just showing my part. There'll be some rough cuts because I cut out Cody's part. Um, cause that's a whole different thing you can watch on the actual show, but I wanted to show you this place, this ghost town, and then the local side of things, which is pretty much after exploring a, you know, crazy place, what else is there to do here? And that's why after that, there's another show called Epic Exploring Going Local, which is like the sub show to this. So check it out guys. Stay tuned. Check out my TV show right here and check out the link description down below. If you want to see more of Insight TV, um, you know, they have a bunch of stuff. Check them out. And you can watch my whole show there. Let's get on with the video. What up guys, I'm Josh and I'm here in the city of Longyear Buren, which is located on the island of Svalbard. We're so far up north, it literally does not get dark, but during the winter it will be dark for two months straight. Now what brought me here in Svalbard is the fact that there's an old abandoned ghost town here called Pyramiden, which is an old Soviet mining town here. It's literally frozen in time, it's insane. We're about to land right now, we're touching down. This is sick man. Yeah, careful with the ice. But I'm not doing this adventure alone. I'm meeting up with my good friend Steve Duncan. He's really gonna appreciate this adventure. Yo, Steve! Oh, hey! Josh, how you doing? What's going on, dude? It's been, it's been quite some time. My name's Steve Duncan. I'm an urban explorer, and uh, that means I'd like to peel back the layers of history. Salt Guard is really interesting. It's, it's so remote that the abandoned places here just have not been touched. It really is like a time capsule that takes you back into the past. To me, that's a lot more exciting than just having to read about history in a book. Good to see you. We have a problem. What? The harbor is iced up by Pyramid. We cannot get there by boat. Captain will not take us. He says there's just way too much ice. However, he says there's a supply of helicopter going. He thinks today. So we can't take no boat? No, we're screwed in terms of going by water. Man, I wasn't planning on doing a helicopter. So how do we do we that? We gotta check it out, we're here, let's go. What do you even know about Paramita though? Well, okay, the basics are originally Swedish, uh, sold to the Soviet Union in 1927, all about coal mining. Um, abandoned uh, in 1998. Okay. And since it's frozen 10 months of the year, everything is in pristine shape. Dude, is that like a mosaic mural? Man, I'm just, I'm just worried about the helicopter. So there, you said there's one that takes off once a week, a cargo? There's a, a helicopter that does a supply run. We have, this is it. I'm just gonna that, man. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna get this. Guys, we were 
just given it a one in a lifetime opportunity to fly inside this cargo helicopter that's bringing us straight to Paramedes. Like looking, I'm like, yeah, one day I'll go there. Yeah, but I mean, we are cold. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Man, the, dude, this is a true abandoned ghost town. We can't get any better than this. Check it out. That mountain. That's uh, the Pyramid Mountain that the town's named. This was built in the 80s. It was used for old water pipes that was left over from the town. But it's sick because it really reminds me of Chernobyl, man, that sign. Uh, yeah, that's the <laughs> uh, Soviet aesthetic, right? Right. Oh! You think it's real? Yeah. Yeah, it looks real. I mean, they got a mountain of it. Yeah, right. And this yeah, is what it was all about, right? They should it's light on fire here. In the 20th century. It's cool. You think we can climb up it? Y yeah. Yeah, you can climb up. I'll yeah. take a picture of you. All right, cool. Yeah, I got you. I think you're the first to climb that side. Oh, I doubt it. I'm sure board miners are doing it all the time. Coming up here, have a few sips of vodka. Now you're definitely world's first, bro. Oh yeah, you think so? I really do. You kind of look like a Christmas tree from up here. They had the star on top. That was a good shot. I can't resist a silly shot sometimes. No, it's nice. I'm post-card fiction. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look who we just found over here. There's a polar bear down there. This is our first day here walking down the harbor. We just stumbled across it. Oh man, this is crazy seeing this polar bear just like in its natural habitat. Like totally used to just seeing them in the zoo. Yeah. This beats the zoo. Sure does, it's a little scarier though. Yeah, it is, yeah, you're right. Cause I mean, this is their house, man. And they're looking for food. You think we can get closer without getting eaten? How fast uh, can they move on the ice? I feel like, I feel like we should uh, not go any more closer. Than what I we think are. you should go first. No, I think <laughs> I'm good. This is a real ghost town, man. This is the real deal. It's so preserved. A lot bigger than anything I've seen in the States. You know, old mining towns in the States from 1800s that like 100, 200 people were there. This was about 1,000 people and ran for about 70 years. I love ghost towns because you get to poke around, see how people really live. And you can't do that when people are still living there. You can't bust into somebody's living room. Hey, we have 1972 right here. We could check this one out. Let's do it. If I see a hole in the ground, I want to go into it. Should we take it? <laughs> All right, I guess we're taking it, guys. If my partner goes in there, I'm going in too. Kind of cool. Yeah. Not amazing. Some old shovels and whatnot. Oh man, grab this. Got it. It smells in here. Oh. It smells nice in here. Smells like pigs. Yeah. So bad. This must have been part of the farm that I had. Probably, yeah, you can look at all the hay. I read online that there's a boat 
that would come once a year to deliver food during the summer. That's part of what makes this place so cool, right? Because you get like, you know, New York, London, whatever, these are cities, but they're not completely independent. And this place, at least in the 20th century, it was completely self-sufficient. Their entire lives were mapped out here. Crazy. I'm just gonna go around. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Try it. No. Good practice. Hell no. no. Hey Steve, check this room out. Cool. Maybe the guy's office, but I see medical equipment everywhere. Look at that, they're injected into the pigs, like maybe antibiotics. Yeah, or steroids or and stuff. We got a certificate for something. Oh! oh. It, it didn't get me though, but it almost did. Oh, God, I, you're I, lucky. I grabbed everything at once. That's crazy, man. Everyone's got injected with, I don't even know. Pig medicine from 50 years ago. Yeah. Um, oh, this is giving me the chills. I think you need something to cure you here. Have us look at this. What is it? Uh, don't ask, oh, you'll no. like it. Have some of oh, this. I'm good, man. I'm you sure? Good. I think we made it towards the end. Oh yeah, back in the daylight. Yo, look at this. Ah, butchering the room. room. Beautiful. We see, stand in the middle. One shot. We're so grim. You know what's kind of funny? They, this was a refrigerator, but they didn't have to have a refrigerator because it's so cold. They yeah. just had to open the window. <laughs> Dude, think about it, man. We covered one building out of like 20 on this island. Let's we're gonna go check out some more. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be here all day. That's kind of pretty, right? It's nice. It's really this nice. It's the main street of town. Seems like it, man. We're surrounded by everything now. Yeah, and I've read about this grass. This is not local grass. They had to import it from Ukraine. Really? Yeah, look at how brown it is everywhere around. There are no plants, so... Uh, I would never have even thought about that. And when there's only a few months of sunlight, it doesn't have time to mature and make seeds here. So they had to bring in grass seed, plant it, water it, and then uh, it got all green and pretty during the summer. And so it's probably like the home. purest grass ever. Well, that's why the reindeers love it. So you get the reindeers coming through town, chopping on the grass, and then you get the polar bears coming through town looking for the reindeer and getting the occasional tourist. Dang, so because, you know, us humans planted grass here, it just changes up everything. Now that, you, you know, reindeer's eating it too. That's cool. No. There's yeah. even reindeers right. here. It's funny, because we were just talking about reindeers eating grass, and here they are. You think they'll let us pet them? Look at those horns. I wouldn't be scared either. Yeah, 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 yeah go for it, try. All right, let's try it. I'm trying to call him like a cat. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey. Oh, here, daughter, here, Vixen. Oh, they ran away from us. This just shows you how inhabited this place is. The only thing left here is just animals running it. You know what it says there on the column? Uh, Lennon. Good job, you're pretty thrilling. <laughs> right, it's kind of cool because these torches on both sides light this guy up. That would look cool during right. winter dark. Yo, <laughs> guy, it says swimming pool right there on the door. Sweet, check it. Here's the locker room. Yeah. Here, man. Yeah? Okay. Definitely. Oh, jackpot, baby. Nice. Wow. Look at this one, man. <laughs> this is way bigger than I expected. I can't believe they built this in the middle of the earth yeah. on an uninhabited island. Yeah, exactly. For a thousand miners and their families. It's been so nice though. So cold outside, this place was warm, happy, loud, they had races. So this is a salt, a salt water one, right? Yeah, that's what I've heard, that they pumped it directly yeah. from the ocean. Yo, Steve, definitely stand over there in the first place because you are a winner in my eyes. I'm gonna take a nice Josh. shot, man, I got you. I love you, man. <laughs> you stand in uh, the number one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
All right. All right, I got enough pictures of you, man. We gotta keep it moving. I can sound out a little bit of Cyrillic, but not enough. Yo, man, check this one out. Dude, is that like a mosaic mural? Like, is that what yeah. it's made out of? It's beautiful. It's made out of little pieces of tile, right? I think this is, uh, it's a scene of this area. Look at the mountains. This is why we came here. Look at that. Dude, it's such a cool spot. Really? I want to go see this stuff. This is beautiful woodwork. Yeah, it seems it's like this is down. this is like their lunchroom, man. This is where they're eating. What is it? The back for the kitchen? Yeah. Cook? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Ah, this is cute too. What do you think they were doing here, man? What, what do you think was cooking? Big old pot of bean soup. <laughs> Dumping a lot of cans of beans. Use yeah. a few extra cans to fix the uh, thingy ma bob. Smells and, in there um, now. Stew it up. Man, think about it. They were serving a thousand people here, and it was all for free. Which is a pretty good deal in the Soviet Union. Yeah. I mean, to, to be able to eat hearty. Like, during most of the 20th century, Russia had this thing where, you know, like calories were, and, and um, everything was calculated from the top down. So, like, chicken cordon bleu had 100 grams of chicken, no more, no less. Which meant like a big guy working all day got real hungry. And here, with all the food free, I think that it was pretty good living. I think you're right that this is a school, man. Oh, Check man, this out. gotta be. What yeah, in the world are... is that thing? Oh, I think it's a mushroom. From someone who's never seen a mushroom actually growing before, maybe? <laughs> they must teach them here. It's a boat, they've seen boats. <laughs> maybe butterflies are here? Tractors, I've never seen anything so Soviet. <laughs> Make children draw pictures of tractors. Everything's just like frozen, man, left here, which it is. <laughs> that is awesome. Dude, it's crazy because we're actually in the most northern school in the world. Yeah, you're Think right about it. You're right. It's, it's the most, it, it's abandoned, but it's still the most northern school in the world. Guys, as we walk into the next building, we spotted a polar fox, and Steve's gonna try to lure it. With the sound of creepy plastic. Oh, dude, he looks cool. <laughs> Such a cute little guy. He looks really cool. He's not scared. Look, he's coming up to us. No. He's missing fur and everything. No, that's summertime. He has a much thicker winter coat. All uh, the white stuff comes off and he blends into the dirt. Sweet. Yeah. That's cool. Let's keep that's going, cool. man. Are we friends now? Yeah, he's beautiful though, huh? I don't really want to give him the rest though. <laughs> there goes my lunch. <laughs> yeah, he dipped on you, man. I think we just keep it moving now, huh? Yeah, I feel like this building could be so important because we're walking so far to get to it. It's like a drawbridge. <laughs> All right, let's find out. And Russian vodka. Empty. Oh, well. I don't know. Somebody's home movie? I see someone working at something, but I can't tell much more. They should probably just kick it upstairs and see what we can find. Sound good? Yeah. Let's go. Let's take a right. There's a lot of rooms here, dude. But it seems this was just everyone's offices for like paperwork. 
Yeah, a lot of paperwork here. I'm betting that this might have been one of the geologist's offices. Wait, geologist's office? I think it's a geologist's map of the area showing the times that they were starting to develop different um, conduits because yeah, it has different dates on it. This thing, check this out. What you got? I found like coal, but I also found these rocks. Looked like they were like they're, they're actually drilling trying to find coal. Oh, these yeah. These are like the yeah, test samples. Absolutely. All right, let's keep moving. Let's see what else is here before I uh, take all day right here. Yeah, let's see it. More books. More books for sure, but what kind of books? I think it's diagrams of uh, mining equipment. Yeah. What is that word that it has? Um, this might be electricity. Yo, bro. What you got? I think I found a door. Are you serious? Yeah, I found a secret door, oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, you're fine. That is a little crazy. That is sick. Dude. That's kind of amazing. That's the first time I ever found a secret door. So was this that Secret Service office, you think, or what? I really, I don't know, but I found pictures. All right, let me try to decipher something. Materi something. It looks like an accident. Like, so they all look like bad pictures. That is weird. You know, that would make sense. That's what you'd want to hide. What do you mean? If there is a collapse, if something bad happened, I can totally imagine them making reports in triplicate and then filing them away where nobody will ever see them. Check this out. This is um, the first, this I think is from the 1970s, but it's the first thing I've seen with uh, CCCP, it's a relic for USSR. Steve, think about this. We've been looking and searching at everything that has to do with this coal mine, but we've never been in the mine yet. Not yet, uh, yeah. We but it's go. time. All right, it's finally, time. let's do this it. This is it. We know everything, we need to go to this mine. to the cable with something like this, and then uh, there was a big motor at the top or the bottom that would uh, Yeah, uh, this is awesome, man. This is definitely a workout. <laughs> oh man, we made it. Nice. Let's go check out the view. All right. Pretty. Oh man. This is insane. Steve, man, I feel like we achieved greatness today. Yeah. <laughs> you almost died, man. Look at this, man. Look what we did. We literally explored in the Arctic Circle, a town frozen in time. Beautiful. I think it's time to rank this. Yeah, all right. Come sit in my office, my friend. Okay, so this is how the ranking works. We rank everything off history, beauty, purity, and thrill. And it's one out of five. We tally up everything, and we can get a perfect score of 20. All right, All right. Well, I guess we'll start off with history, man, right off the bat. In this place, at least in the 20th century, it was completely self-sufficient. I think it's from the 1970s. Just the fact that it's a cool place doesn't automatically make it significant, no, but I do think that the story of this town is the story of the 20th century and the search for energy wherever in the world it is. I think that makes it uh, really significant. I'll give this is, a five yeah. on history. Dude, solid five. Solid five. Boom, baby. All right, next, we got beauty. Oh, jackpot, baby. Look at this one, man. 
I'm, I, I say I'll give five. It a five on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have everything here, man. And wildlife, Roman, the yeah. street. Yeah. All right, five. Yeah. You, you don't get better than that. You can, man. Ooh, that was an ugly five. Uh, what else got? Okay. Next is purity. Phone pictures. That's why we came here. Look at that. This is the, the hardest one for us to rate, is always purity, because it's like, is something vandalized or damaged, but this one, man, it's just, it's preserved. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen any place so untouched. Solid five, baby, solid five. Last but not least, the Thrill. And yeah, touchdown, There's a polar bear down there, we just stumbled across it. Yeah. I kind of figure if nobody gets arrested, nobody gets bloody, I'm not sure it's really an extreme adventure. Think about it, we did the helicopter. Oh, We've seen the polar bears. <laughs> we traveled here. All right, you convinced me. This is a solid five. L uh, look, if one of us can get badly hurt on the way down, I'll totally give it a five. Well, all right, I'm thinking five, but. <laughs> all right, I'll give it a five. It's a five. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm sure. All right, because I say it's a five, baby. Dude. <laughs> no! All right. Five? Five. That's my boy. This is why I take him with my trips. This is why we take this guy. He's a crazy psycho. Five out of five. Five, oh, five, five. Fuck. We got a perfect 20. You're a psycho, man. <laughs> Are you good? You need me to help you? You're fine? Uh, I'm OK. This is how we do it, man. Every time I hang out with this guy, we do crazy adventures. This Next is where time, we head out. what, we go underground? Next time underground. Let's bounce out of here. Guys, thanks for watching. We're out of here. <laughs>
I think today we'll go around Badensburg. Paint's chipping off this. Ready. Tomorrow we'll go to Calls Bay and there we'll start a cool. real urban exploring here. Yeah, nice. We're literally approaching Coral's Bay. Straight up ghost town here. Looks really dead, quiet. Kind of scary, actually. Uh, just be really careful there. It's quite dangerous inside. Hey, question. Who owns Svalbard, by the way? Owns. Yeah. Norway. We are under Norwegian law, and we oh, okay. pay in Norwegian crowns here. A lot of uh, Russians and Ukraine live here. I was just like, what? You know, yeah. I, mean, I was confused. It's like uh, Badensburg uh, economically represents Russian Federation here. Okay. Like, it's not territory of Russia, but we can stay and work here without visa or something. Mm, that's cool. But if we go to jail, they'll take us to a Norwegian to prison, Norway. not a... Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. I ain't going to I no guess Russian that's good, jail. yeah. Uh, Norway, it's also really strict, yeah. so be careful. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Yeah. Guys, we're getting super lucky with the day so far. We're seeing belugas just going up the coastline. Check this out. Like, like Jurassic Park. Yeah. Okay. They're down there. They're just, they're really cool. They're beautiful, like these white dolphins. Look at, almost like a, it's like, it's a white whale, right? Yeah. Yeah, beluga. Oh, oh beluga. Yeah. Beluga. Yeah, it's really cool finds so far, though. First day here, man, we're already seeing this stuff. Awesome. awesome. What do they eat? They eat uh, coat here. So uh, it's historically that for more people coming here from 17th century, and there are a lot of fish in this fjord, and that's why they call this place like fridge for fish. Oh. Because they need 15 kilos of fish per day. It's a lot yeah. of fish. That is, yeah. yeah. quite interesting history. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's falling apart. It's kind of pretty, though. Yeah. I, I like love all the colored paint that they, I guess that's to yeah. jazz it up during the yeah. dark hours. That's all I was going to say. <sighs> Paint's chipping off this. Pretty. <coughs> pretty. I like this, like the wallpaper. It was like a French feel. Totally, yeah. Oh, this is sick. It was, uh, it looks kind of rich. Yeah. I mean, compared to most. Yeah, it does. Yeah, have you ever heard about ballerina Maya Plisetska? Ah, I did. Ima ballerina, actually, who was performing in Bolshoi Theater in Moscow. Nice, nice. Yeah, she was cool. living here, actually. Seven yeah. years old girl. Yeah, she living just moved with her father here. The Bolshoi Theater is the one in Moscow, right? Yeah, and I actually have a picture of her. Like, what? Oh, she's beautiful. Think about this, though. It's like really cool to really like in one of the best dancers in the world's living room right now. And that's the cool thing about urban exploring is that when you know the history of something and then you go to the abandoned places, you feel more involved. And that's what I like about being, you know, around all these spots. It's cool. You can also imagine how she was first time dancing over those rooms and also performing first time in Bidensburg Cultural Palace. At age like eight or nine. Seven years old, yeah. Wow. She spent two years in Badensburg, so it was like the start of her career. It's a pretty place. I, I can imagine looking out over the water from up here. Yeah, yeah. for real. And a young romantic girl sitting here. <laughs> This was in, what, the 1930s when Russia first? 1934, Russia bought this uh, Badensburg from Dutch company, Nespico. Oh. Yeah. It's a beautiful view. Yeah, and also a beautiful place to see first sunsets in September. Wait, that, when does the first set sun come? In September. Is there, is there a time when you only have just sunsets, but no dark, just the sunset, but it'll rise back? Yeah, it's like never-ending story, sunset to sunrise. Dude, that's, that's like a dream, just having a sunset. Be like, I don't need the darkness, just the sunset. Especially for photographers, man. That's awesome. 
So now I can show you where we are having parties, watching those beautiful sunsets. All right, let's go. Show me the party. Where's the party at? Yeah. Here we actually celebrate all this coal miners' day, poor man's day. Yeah. Yeah. So That's the place where we party. It's a good party yeah. spot, boys. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get a barbecue yeah. going, flip the patties. I like it here. Got yeah. a nice view. That's actually. Air sledge. Wow. Tupolev. It looks like a like a hovercraft. God, I brought something for us. I don't get up to the North Pole very often, so I wanted to um, celebrate a little bit. Uh, no, that's my sauce. <laughs> very important for me. Ah, a famous American drink. Have you heard of uh, vodka? It's uh, it actually means water, which is very important when we're exploring. Oh, she's yeah. she's Russian though, so she drinks that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, guys. Come on. Yes, yeah, so actually in some Russian nations we have tradition to drink vodka for good weather. Does it right. work? Yeah. Oh, it does work. Sometimes. Oh. <laughs> guys. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Yeah. Cheers. Hopefully everything goes good. <laughs> Guys, first day here in the Arctic Circle and I literally cannot sleep. The sun is blaring through the window right now at two in the morning. Check this out. I'm just not used to this. I mean, it's amazing, but gosh, I need some sleep. Hopefully I can get some sleep though soon or else it's gonna be really bad tomorrow. I'm gonna be like a walking zombie. Guys, I'm super excited today because we are going to be heading to a place called Coles Bay in Grumont. It's going to be really good. We're about to get suited up. We're at the hub right now and meet up with Yaroslava. She should be in here. Oh! oh. Got to watch out for that, man. Yeah. Hey! Hello, guys. Let's go inside. Thanks for coming. Guys, super excited right now because we're literally approaching Coral's Bay. Straight up ghost town here. Looks really dead, quiet, kind of scary actually. But I'm super excited because we don't know what to expect. Got this crazy suit on, it keeps me restricted. I, I don't know, how, are you moving good? I can barely move around, Steve. I can barely move either, but I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah this is worth it. Out. Check this out. Pretty cool, right? I think the only people that have heard ghost are town. Like, yeah, I think it just is a short ghost town. Guys, if this wasn't named Coles Bay, I think I'd name it Dead Island. Is that a video game? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> not zombies. It just, it just looks like zombie. I don't know, zombie apocalypse thing, man. It totally does, yeah. yeah. It's kind of devastated. When did uh, Coles Bay go abandoned? It was 1961, then Soviet Union decided to close this place because it was quite hard with transportation question here. It was like people needed to transport coal first from Grumman, and it's like right. six kilometers from here by the railroad. After that, by small boat from Coles Bay to Bidensburg. And after that, they needed a cargo ship to transport coal to the mainland. So Jeez. it was quite hard and unprofitable. Yeah. So if we were here 100 years ago, would we be wearing all like reindeer leather? Yeah, probably, because uh, first people who've been staying here, they were uh, for more people and they were trappers. So they were trapping reindeers, poor foxes all around here. 
Also walruses. Oh, those foxes have nice fur, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snap. Well, let's Whoa. get out of these suits and start exploring. Yeah, I want to see how these people live. Let's yeah. get into one of the buildings. Yo, I have a coat under me. Under, under this. <laughs> it's the coat, I swear. <laughs> Help me out. All right, thank you. Yay. Do you really need that gun out here? Yeah, actually it's quite important. It's forbidden to walk without gun because polar bears might be everywhere and we need to be protected and ready for this. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Urban Explorer Polar Expedition. Yeah. I'm first one in. The scientific research is carried out here. Yeah, That's epic. just to let me go first, I will check that it's safe and there are no polar bears inside. All right. All right. She, she does the dirty work. Doesn't I'm not feel dying. very gallant. <laughs> yeah, it's safe, guys. Let's go. All right, good, cool. good. Nice. People have been sleeping here, it looks like. Yeah, look at that. It is really nice, though. Little cottage area. I wonder what kind of research is being carried out here. I don't even see computers or nothing. So, oh, uh, <laughs> I think it's self. So I think it's somebody who's yeah. here cooking. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It could be something else. <laughs> yeah, it's just beds everywhere. This whole thing just stacked with beds. Yeah. Hey, was this a coal stove or a wood stove? Both. Uh, it's actually possible to burn woods and coal also. Oh, this is a nice room. Can we actually make a fire in the stove? Yeah, I think we can try. Why not? Okay. It should be working. We could do a picture where we pretend to make a fire and you guys are sitting on the bed warming your hands up. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, check this out. Oh, that's good. You put a light inside there. Oh, yeah, so romantic. Fire, right? That's smart. <laughs> guys, look like you're, you're putting your hands, like you're warming them up or something. I won't let you guys down with this. <laughs> Dude, I promise you, it looks like it's like... It looks cool. off. I think we need to cuddle together now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, come check this photo out. It's really good because the light from the oven you put in it. It looks like it's actually on. Cute. Wow. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go check out some more spots. <laughs> this building is bigger than the other one. What's in this one? It's actually just a dormitory for people who lived here. Like the scientists? No, coal miners, engineers. So that's from the coal mining time of coal oh, okay. I'll go check the second floor. Do polar bears like to camp out up high? Yeah. Oh, stop. Chill, man. Nice. Oh, this is a cool room. Check this out. Take something you need, leave something for others, clean as you go. Pretty good so, rules for life, too. What do they mean, clean as you go? <laughs> what is that? Just like make it neat? That's because you're supposed to clean up after yourself. Yeah, true. It's like a whole mini store here. Mm -hmm. What can we eat? What is, oh, dude, guys. Oh, are you hungry already? I got oodle noodle packets. Mm, awesome, waterproof mattress, right? Yeah. So guys, this is like an emergency room, a shelter room. If you got stuck here and you found like the X in the window outside, it marks the spot because this is the treasure room. Um, you can probably survive an extra like two or three days here on everything that's over here. And yeah, it's really cool. It's interesting to see this. Little fire starters. You can uh, yeah. make a fire if it's really Chocolate. Chocolate? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are we up high, though? Does the snow come up this high? Is that why the emergency room is up on the second floor? No, I think it's more about polar bear because uh, if it get inside, it will just check polar the first bears. floor. Polar bears! Polar bears! Polar bears! I don't believe in them. Yo, you know what I believe in? Signing the guest book. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right. 
So now we know how people lived here, and maybe it's time to know how they worked, and we will visit industrial area here. Cool. Because oh. it's not about relaxing, you know. Huh? <laughs> Guys! Go, oh, oh, dude! <laughs> oh, he fell in the strait of water. <laughs> hey, I gotta watch myself. Yeah, be careful. It's a little wet. Hey, check out the reindeer. Oh yeah, there's like a little herd over there. <sighs> Did you know that during winter time only females had uh, antlers? Why? Because they need to protect babies and also fight sometimes with males for grass. I actually didn't know that. I thought it was only the males. Uh, just be really careful there, it's quite dangerous inside. Nice. Oh, you guys smell that abandonment air? Oh, yeah. yeah. Check out how big this space is. The whole department of different mechanizations. Electricity, radio station, so on. Everything was here. It looks kind of like power plants I've been at. Is it? Was it uh, generating power too? Also, yeah. I'm coming up. <laughs> you got me with that. Yeah. This place is literally deteriorating, and all the metal seems to be like stolen or cut. Yeah, they. They cut out a lot of it, it's clear. They used to have more of these beans. I bet they were using it for other stuff right around here because you have to haul in everything here. Oh, yo, let's check out the view. Good. At least. Yeah, this view does not get old. It really doesn't get old, guys. The reindeer's down there, the beach down there. I guess, I don't know if you can call it a beach, but the bay. It's really cool, it's just insane that like all of Coles Bay is literally revolves around this factory that we're in. Everyone lived here because of this. Something. Right. So where are we going to next? We're going to Grumont. Grumont. That's where the, the actual uh, coal was before processed and transferred here, right? Yeah, it's still the biggest storage of coal for Russian Federation. All right, that's something good. Well, let's get it. For the whole Russian Federation, not, not even in Siberia? I no, thought it was here. Oh, okay, okay. Because the wave is going from this side, from the west, and if the boat is coming to the coastline, it can just take it out from the water to the coast and we cannot get it back from there. Why not? We can't push it back out? No, it weighs too much. So there's really no way? No. I guess this is where we're going to have to wrap it up. Guys, as urban explorers, I mean, we travel the world and we risk everything, and sometimes we travel across the world, the country, just to try to get into a place that we don't even know if we can actually really get into. And this happens sometimes. This is one of these things that we take our risks and our time to do and we devote our time into and we can't always get what we want. And it sucks, but it, it's, I mean, hey, it happens. So with all that being said, I guess, join me next time for another local adventure. Different country, different city, different people, somewhere incredible around this amazing globe. Thanks for watching. Hey.